neither here nor there. Let's dive into some real news for today. This is a pretty big deal. Chris Jones, we'll talk about this one first, and the Chiefs got their deal done. Four years, $85 million, $60 million of it guaranteed. So they locked up Mahomes, they locked up Chris Jones, and they are set for dynasty status, or at least they're going to try for it, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, these were the two most important pieces that they needed to make sure that they got deals done uh, really in this offseason. I understand Mahomes still had two years left on his deal. I, I get that. But you wanted to make sure everybody's happy, everybody's good to go going into next season. And, I mean, they as long as they got those two, you know, centerpieces, they got a shot to win a Super Bowl every year. Like, well, yeah, you think they're going to be in the conversation every year with, with Mahomes, just, just Mahomes and Andy. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Chris Jones deal is a big deal, though. Chris Jones is a hell of a player uh, from Mississippi State. And, uh, yeah, he's been, a, he's been a pretty great pro so far. And he's somebody you wanted to try to get locked up and taken care of. Oh, 100%. I mean, he, he is the centerpiece of that. He's the leader of that defensive line. And, I mean, he's a beast. He's an absolute yep. beast. And, no, Kansas City's defense is not the greatest in the league or whatnot. And you don't have to be if you've got Patrick Mahomes on the other side of the ball. But you do still need... You know, it, it's not like Mahomes and them went crazy in the Super Bowl. They had some games this year where they got slowed down a little bit. If you've got a good enough defense, then you can withstand those games where you get slowed down a little bit, where you're not putting up 45 points a game. Like, that's why the defense is important. you got to have at least a decent one on that side. That's why the Chris Jones hi- or, uh, not hire, the Chris Jones signing is so incredibly important, which brings us into the other. Massive deal that was talked about today. Miles Garrett for your Cleveland Browns. Five years, $125 million. That's an average of $25 million a year. Ah, Michael jumps in. He said, love to see KC spending that money. Uh, what about the Browns spending that money? That's a yeah. lot of money on a defensive lineman. You think he's worth it? Yes, 100%. Yes. <laughs> I knew you would. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, he's, he's, tell he's, tell he's me your thoughts. worth it. No, he's going to he's gonna contend, and he's going to be in the conversation for Defensive Player of the Year every year. He's he's an absolute monster, and, and he's coming into his prime in this league. And if this team can be surrounded by grown-ups at all, they have a chance to change their identity from being just bumbling oafs to, to something legit and competitive. I, uh, I like the way that you said that, bumbling oafs. <laughs> well, that's, all, that's the only way I know how to describe them. That's what they've been. That's uh, that's what they have been. Um, you know, the last couple of years, uh, well, let's see. Damien says, Miles Garrett equals Khalil Mack. Uh, let's see. Jose jumped in. He said, uh, whoops, he's a beast. Uh, Joseph said, KC needs more from the run game than last year. Well, they got Clyde, so. Well, they they I, about to get something. I think know. they got that. Uh, Michael said, paying everybody does not equal the dynasty. They'll lose key role players. Hasn't anyone learned from the Pats? <laughs> Well, no, nobody has learned from the Pats. Nobody. I, look, look, look. I understand that. I understand all of that. I think that this is a very important signing. I think that Chris Jones is a very important signing. I think that Miles Garrett, you, you need to have uh, important pieces. You need to have big time pieces on that side of the ball, especially on the defensive line. That's where games are won. That's right. Honestly, they really are. If, if you can get any kind of pressure on the uh, on the opposing quarterback, if you can stop the run game, you can You're dominate. Cleveland. You have to find somebody who can get to, slow down, control, and contain Lamar Jackson. That the, it, first thing you have to do before any game planning starts is look at your division, yeah, and say how do we want to build this team? Well, we got that bastard right there that we got to stop. Now, how do we do that? And yeah. you build everything around that. Everybody, if you're the Broncos right now, you need to be doing everything in Chargers. Everything you can do. Just figure out this problem that you have in Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, that's what everybody in the division. And is everything working. works backwards from there. When you were you were you know an NFC AFC South team for the for the longest time, you know, seventeen years, Peyton Manning was a problem. Yeah. Tom Brady in the AFC North was a problem, and they had all these other teams. You just start working backwards to figure out how to solve these problems, and and that's just. That's just the way you have to work. Both the Browns and I, you know, getting Chris Chris Jones signed is just important. 
yeah. to, to the Chiefs and just they got to they can't let everybody walk no, because most, they signed Mahomes. It most certainly uh, was. The Browns, the Browns are absolutely trying to problem solve for for you know being years in the league with with Lamar. Yeah. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh let's see. Oh, good gracious. Uh the the chat just went a little crazy. Hold on. Uh Joseph Gomez said, Do the Pats tank if they start at two and five? Uh and they're not no. gonna they're not gonna start at two and five. And no, they're not gonna tank. And uh, yeah, and they're not gonna tank. Uh Michael said, I'm the biggest Von Miller fan around, but we have won nothing since paying him. It's not all his fault, but he's only as good as who's next to him. Um that is a valid point. Your but, quarterback situation yeah. since since you paid him has been atrocious. So yeah. you can't put that on paying him. Jose jumped in and said Chubbs is back for the Broncos. So, yeah, yeah. that's well, that's, that's a big thing. Once again, that ain't that ain't the problem that they've had either. By the way, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, Matthew Miller jumps in. Broncos have done well defensively against the Chiefs. We need the offense to pick up. And yeah. Michael then, of course, jumps in. He said, "Chris, we got Chubb and Miller. Hopefully, both are healthy. Uh, both healthy will help." Yeah, yeah. I don't need a trigger man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, look, I think Drew Locke is the guy. I have a lot of faith well, in that. That's fine. He might be. He but, could be. That's okay. But their problem wasn't, well, damn, we paid Vaughn and now we can't win. Yeah. Their it's problem not that. is we just keep putting morons and 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 people who are just incapable of playing the position at quarterback. And the, we're wasting draft picks on quarterbacks. The first seven games, by the way, for the Patriots, uh, they've got Miami at home. They're playing at Seattle, the Raiders at home, at Kansas City. The Broncos at home, uh, the 49ers at home. That's their first seven games. So, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. And then at the Bills. So, it, no, they're not going to go two and five to start. Like, get, I'm, I'm a Steelers people, fan. People are shoveling dirt on the Pats way too early. Oh, Just absolutely. Be careful. Just be careful. You're going to get your, if you hate them so much that you're already shoveling dirt, you probably just need to tone down those expectations because oh, yes. you're going to get your feelings hurt. Um, you're really going to be pissed off in, in about week eight. I, I see. I see Michael trying to toss a little uh, a little shade here. He said our quarterback situation has been terrible. Thanks Memphis and Paxton. That's not our fault that your boys drafted him in the first round. I was just about to say that is a that is a Jonathan Elway problem, not a <laughs> Memphis problem. Okay, he did great here. Yeah. All right. Hey Ben. Ben jumps in. He said they paid Osweiler and drafted Paxton Lynch. That's their problem. The heist. Yes. But listen, Mike Lombardi should be a, just a nicknaming genius. For, for coming up with a name for Brock Osweiler called the heist with the amount of money that he was paid. Yeah. Uh, Michael said, by the way, no, Ben, Houston paid Osweiler. We got him for pennies. He wasn't worth pennies. Uh, you still brought him back. Yeah, you did bring him back. Uh, uh, Matt Miller said, if Drew Locke can be Dak Prescott, we got a shot because the defense will be great again. Matt Miller said, the Pats will go 10-6 and six with a wild card berth. And then Ben said, oh, yeah, my bad. So, with that said, All right. we can jump off of the NFL stuff for – just a minute, and I want to talk about some real-world problems, okay? Now, this is real-world stuff. Michael closes out. It is an Elway problem for sure. Had to give y'all a hard time. And then uh, Jose said, Brown safety needs to be a spy for Lamar Jackson's running game. Look, they need a lot of spies for Lamar Jackson. I'll just yeah, say Yeah, but if you can keep him from hitting that edge, there is no genetic freak in the NFL like Miles Garrett. No, there's okay? absolutely I've, I have I have watched them all for the last two to three years. There is not a specimen in the league like him. No, not even close. Not even close. There are, there are a few in the world like him. Now, let's – hey, that's a good transition, Chris. Nicely 